Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to go over the steps on how to replace the brake pads and rotors on a Mitsubishi. Here we have a 2019 Mitsubishi Outlander, but the procedure is the same for all Mitsubishis, um, including the Lancer and Outlander Sport, Galant. Uh, the brake pads are going to be a different part number, so will the rotors, but the steps are basically the same. The first thing you will do is jack up the vehicle and secure it. We have the jack point right here. We have jacked up the vehicle and we are also supporting with a jack stand under the frame. You can see right there. Now once you do that, it does help to turn the steering wheel to this side so that it's easier to access these bolts in the back. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll remove the brake caliper. Now if you have decided you don't want to change the rotors because they look in really good shape you just want to change your pads this is much much easier what i'll do is i'll make sure you have enough room loose holes right there and then you come here at the bottom this is the third it's actually a 14 millimeter bolt right here that we need to remove Once you remove that, you can see how easy it is to replace just the pads. Okay. Here's an, another thing. Before we remove this, what we want to do is we want to push that piston all the way in. There's a couple ways to do that. The recommended way is to um, get a C-clamp. So when, once you take this off, get a C-clamp, a large C-clamp, and push that piston in. Um, there's also a brake pad spreaders that will push that through but if you're doing this at home you might not have any of those tools and this is another way that works just as well you put a screwdriver I'm pushing this caliper this way and I'm holding it on the rotor over there and this is going to take a minute and it's going really slow but you can see what this did is you push caliper in and it pushed the piston back that way now when you put the new pads you'll have room to Otherwise, you won't be able to slide this back in. Um, and if that is the case, you will have to get that C-clip or a brake pad, uh, brake caliper spreader. But here, just a screwdriver pushing this out this way. It does the trick. And you'll see here in a second that that piston is pushed all the way in. So here's this bolt. We remove this. You don't want to get this part dirty. You actually want to put some grease on this because this, the caliper is supposed to slide there and the threads are right here. You don't want grease on the threads, but you do one on this part. You take this and you flip it up. Okay. Now you can see here are the brake pads. You take them. Okay. So you can see these pads still have a lot of life left on them. You can see the inner pad. And then you want to remove these clips and use a wire brush to clean this off. And the same thing on this side and then put that back in. You'll do the same for the upper one. Then you take the new pads. You're going to put a little bit of anti-seize grease right here where this pad slides in there also where it makes contact with the piston so just a little bit that's enough and you take this and make sure you push it down and then you want to slide this in there so that's back in there we're going to install the other pad So on this other pad, the contact points are there, there. This is where this slides. So put a little bit of grease, everything else needs to stay clean. Take that in. Now, you can see the caliper here is pushed all the way in because we push it with a screwdriver. If it's not, you can try again or get a C-clamp, put it there and push that in. Now that is as far as the, the pads. Well, what we'll do here 
we're going to put this pin back in. Now here at the bottom there's a rubber piece you want to line that up otherwise this is not going to go through okay so I will go ahead and tighten that but the next step is to replace the rotor and in order to replace that rotor we need to remove the whole brake caliper so let's get this tight first Torque this to spec and for more help just follow our step by step guide. Alright, but here to do the rotor, you'd come further back here. You have two other bolts that need to come loose, and these are 17 millimeter bolts. You more likely you will need a breaker bar to get these loose. We have already loosened them. Okay, you can see that bolt right there is off. The whole brake caliper. Now you want to hold this brake caliper, you don't want it to just drop and then put pressure on this hose here. bolt is off now you can take the whole brake caliper and then you want to use a wire and just hang it up to the strut don't let it hang up by the hose okay once you do that you can see here the rotor is loose and can come off now some models have a set screw right here to the side you might need to uh, spray some penetrating oil let it sit for about 10 minutes and then get that screw off and then you can remove the rotors this rotor will probably resist to come off if uh, it's been on the car for a long time so you can spray penetrating on here on this side a little bit by these studs and then some here on the back let that sit for another 10-15 minutes then with hammer you can just hit it right here you want to be careful so you don't bend this dust shield on the back here otherwise when you start the car start driving you're gonna hear a rubbing noise and you're gonna have to jack up the car and inspect this and move it back out, bend it out. But there's the rotor, comes right out. Very simple. You'll take the new rotor, put it in. If you got rust there, use some wire brush to clean that off. Put the set screw if you have one. This one doesn't have it. Take the caliper put the bolts on the back now these bolts here are very critical they need to be torqued they do have they do go in there very tight okay so this rotor will line up once the wheel goes in there and tightens it Once you torque these two bolts, the caliper bolts, put the wheel back in, go ahead, start the car, pump the brakes a few times until they get hard, and then go for a quick test drive. Thank you for watching.